Hi. This is Chris Edge. Almost all new games tend to push technology and boundaries of existing genres. They grow bigger, higher, fatter, 4K, 8K, VR, use ray tracing and so on, while basically copying the same core game concepts from each other. Many AAA games surpass movies, considering the resources and time being consumed, and size of the developing crew. Big companies simply cannot take risks. And evolution is always risky. So, consequently, if you are into fresh ideas rather than fancy sugar coating, you must search elsewhere. Independent game developers often are heading to the polar opposite of the mainstream trend. There you can find tiny inventive gems like FTL, World of Goo or Into the Breach. The game in today's review is one of the most minimalistic games that I have played in a long time. Capsule was recommended to me by NP when I asked him to recommend some genuinely odd games. I received a long list but that is another story. This 2012 game, despite its minimalistic design, is a mixture of various genres. First of all, Capsule is a survival game. You have to watch two resources, air for you to breathe and fuel for your vehicle. If you run out of both, game over. Basically you are a man in a tin can in space, trying to survive. It reminded me a lot of 1954 short story, The Cold Equations, by Tom Godwin. Only you versus physics while trying to travel from point A to point B in a hostile area. Then, it is a sort of horror game. You will not find monsters or the like here, only the ruthless laws of physics, time and space. It is scary in a way as the only contact to the outer world is a sketchy radar display. It is especially scary if you play it in the dark. I have some light claustrophobia so playing capsule in a dark room kept on giving me chills. Nothing heavy, just scary. Also, it is some kind of interactive narrative. You can read messages after docking, that unfold the situation. The story itself is not a Perlitzer Prize contender, but still, it absolutely makes sense. I don't want to speak about the conclusion. If you are interested, you can make your own. It is a rather short game, you can reach the end in a couple of hours. As for a subjective note, I like this journey quite much, as it oozes classic sci-fi short stories. It feels like a visual representation of an Isaac Asimov short story anthology from the 50s. I think, as for a game concept, this minimalistic design would work flawlessly on classic 8-bit home computers, like Commodore 64 or ZX Spectrum, but maybe they could be realized on an even older computer, like PET, that you can find in the TV series Airwolf or movie, Terminator 3. If you like old sci-fi short stories, old computers, and minimalistic classic games, you may like Capsule like I did. If you don't like reading short stories, well, you should try. It is fun. Training your brain is fun. I often wonder, if there is shame in being a boomer. But I guess, rather, not. See you, somewhere, in time.